Let's talk just a bit about what happens if we follow the conservative plan to solve Minnesota's budget crisis, but only by cutting budgets rather than focusing on investments, raising revenue, and positioning Minnesota for a stronger future. Now, the thing you have to understand is that if we're only going to cut deficits by cutting budgets, we're going to lay off a lot of people. And it isn't just going to be state workers. It's going to have a huge trickle-down effect. And you need to think about the kind of wages that people are earning and where they spend them. So, you know, this is Benjamin. Benjamin Cherry Holmes. I work with, uh, I am part of Labor Union 363, which represents the uh, city workers in public works. As a service worker, I do the dirty, dangerous work that makes it possible for water to come from where it's made to your home. So if we think about what happens if we're just going to unilaterally, you know, either lay Benjamin off or cut Benjamin hour, Benjamin's hours, what it's going to mean for Benjamin and his family is he's going to have less money. The middle class is being cut and sliced and diced as it is, and we're stretched to the max. Benjamin's got less money now. So what Benjamin is going to do is Benjamin is going to buy fewer things. So this basket of goods that we were talking about suddenly is not going to look nearly as large. And, you know, this bag of groceries over here, well, Benjamin can't afford that anymore. So that means that his grocer isn't getting that money in, and the grocer in turn isn't buying from a wholesaler, and the wholesaler's not buying from food processors and from farmers, and, and the auto dealer isn't selling the car to Benjamin that he was hoping to sell. And this is all because we've come back here to this idea that, it really sh that we really can balance Minnesota's budget just by laying off a few workers. I mean, there, there's, a, there's a huge, huge implication in all of this, and we need to think real carefully about whether or not we want to do it. So if we're really going to balance Minnesota state budget by firing Benjamin and you know, getting rid of a bunch of other workers like him, because it isn't just going to be Benjamin. It's going to be a lot of other folks, and there's going to be a, a trickle-down effect from that and a bad kind of trickle-down effect. What it's going to mean is that Benjamin's going to be making a lot less money, and Benjamin, who's not going to be happy anymore, I think it's fair to say that Benjamin joins me in agreeing that this is bad public policy for Minnesota. The idea that you know, we can only cut our way out of budgets. It hasn't worked for the past eight years. It's not going to work in this the ninth year. It's time for a different approach.